Hi, it's James from Kings Hills. So today I want to discuss locations of buy to lets and where the best places to buy are. So often I speak to landlords and the first thing they say when they're looking for their next buy to let is they want a one bedroom flat in a town centre because they want to appeal to commuters. And of course there will always be a demand in High Wycombe for commuters wanting access to the train line. But Wycombe's a large place with lots of really good areas around the town centre that I would strongly recommend you look at with your next buy to let. You need to remember that High Wycombe's not just got a great train line, but also the M40 motorway is really appealing to some people needing access into London or Birmingham or Oxford. We also appeal to a lot of families that want schooling, whether that be first school, second, secondary or grammar schools. And lastly, the local countryside that High Wycombe offers is very popular for tenants. So today I would like to discuss three areas that I feel are very good areas for buy to lets. And of course, if you have any questions, then please do give me a call. So the first area that I wish to discuss is Hazelmere. Now Hazelmere is a village on the northeast side of High Wycombe and is really popular not just for families but for young couples, people starting out and also the older generation. The local schools are very popular for tenants and one area in particular that I'd recommend you look at is the Manor Farm Estate. So this estate offers lots of three bedroom terrace houses which are really popular on the Lettons market. You'll also find some two and sometimes three bedroom flats available also. The three bedroom houses will sell for a figure in the region of 360 to 375 depending on condition and you could expect to achieve around £1,300 per month which offers a gross yield of over 4.3%. The flats will tend to sell for around 290 to 300 and you would achieve a figure of around 1150 so a yield of around 4.6%. So the next area that I'd like to discuss is Penn. Now Penn is a village just next door to Hazelmere and whilst it can be quite expensive to buy a house in this location, there are some great developments with, which offer two bedroom flats which are really popular on the Lettons market. You tend to find tenants stay longer term in the villages, especially Penn, so it gives you peace of mind that you haven't got the hassle of having to find new tenants all the time. I would recommend looking at the flats on St John's Road. You can look at Penn Court, Shields Court and Ashley Court. These are very popular on the Lettons market and you can pick a flat up from anywhere between 260 to 300 depending on the condition and you'd expect to achieve around 1000 to 1100 per month so a yield of around 4.5%. And finally the area I'd like to recommend today to look at is Cressex. Now Cressex is on the south side of High Wycombe and it's just next door to the M40 so it's really good for commuters needing access to London, Birmingham or Oxford. One area that I'd recommend looking in is the Lands and Wade development, which offers a selection of one, two and three bedroom houses. Some roads to look out for would be Old House Close and Guildfield Close. A one bedroom house would cost in the region of 230 to 240,000 and you could achieve around 900 pounds per month, so a gross yield of around 4.6%. A two bedroom house would fetch in the region of 290,000 and the rent would be around 1100, so a yield of over 4.5%. So these are just three areas that I'd recommend, but there are lots of others which are very popular on the Lettons market. So my advice to you is on your next buy to let, don't focus on High Wycombe Town Centre. There's lots of other areas to consider that you can buy properties for an equal price and would get a very similar rent. If you have any questions, then please do give me a call and hopefully we'll hear from you soon. Thank you.